Alright, hey everybody, this is Levi here from the Best Cowboy, and today we are. Oh, wait, one more thing. Just a sec. If you're going to go out to the waterfall, remember there are, there are some dangerous things there creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander going to the sparing hall a while ago. You should ask him if you can borrow one. So, um, apparently we have to go to the little school place first. But anyway, welcome back. This is the third episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, we're going to the Knight's place, which is right here. We are going to get a sword. And then, if you remember from last episode, we are going to go get, um, find where our Crimson Loftwing has been hidden. So that's good. Um, I believe the teacher's probably in here? No? Where's the teacher at? Any teachers over here? Oh, hey, there it is. No, that's not the teacher. It's just some random girl. Alright, here's the teacher. Yeah, I guess it was a man. Okay, what's wrong, Link? Your bird won't come to you when you call it? The left one goes ignore its master's call. Something must be very wrong. Can you talk to Instructor Horwell about this? Leading to gay ceremony. I see. Well, if the headmaster's aware of the situation, I'm sure he'll delay the ceremony for you. Just worry about finding that bird of yours. But I thought he was going to be the one to give me a sword. Whatever, dude! Um, I don't want to talk to that lady. She seems mean. No offense, but I don't like talking to mean people. I guess nobody's up here. I've been wasting my time. It's already almost two minutes into the episode and we haven't even accomplished anything and I guess you can't jump off the railing randomly. Oh hey, we can go through here. Alright, let's go talk to him. Oh hello Link, have you managed to find your lapwing yet? Respect that Bruce had handed your Bruce experience. I tell you, that boy is always up to trouble. Headmaster, if that is true, then all the better. Bruce has made it much easier to delay the start of the race. I doubt even Bruce will have Galaxy complain openly, considering it's his fault that we delay in the first place. I see, yes, he has painted himself into a bit of a corner, hasn't he? Well, it's settled then. Link, don't worry about the race starting without you. Take the time you need to find your off game. Okay, well, yeah, I get it, but I need to... Okay. Um, well, I need to find a sword, and I don't know how to get a sword. Where do I get a sword? He said it's a knight's place, but this is the knight's place, isn't it? Maybe there's another academy. Try going to the other place. Why can't I run fast when I'm inside? It's kind of annoying. I like that running fast thing. Uh, uh, hmm. Man, this game is so much fun, you guys. It may seem like I'm just wandering around, but it's a ton of fun. You guys have no idea. I'm so excited. I've been so excited, and it has been moving up to the hype so fast. Let's go in here. Let's try going in the sparing hall. I believe there's a teacher in here. This is where we started, so. I like the music. Oh, yeah. Here it is, obviously. Talk. Hey, it's Link! You still want to get in some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed! The sword is back in the room. It is in the back of the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Hey, in the back room. I guess. Wait. Examine. That's the log used for practicing your threats. Okay, well, anyway. Let's just go in. So it starts. First treasure chest of the entire game. Here we go. Ready in three, two, one, go! You will learn how to practice swords soon for the night academy. Practice with me. It looks like a fairly sharp blade. Press one at any time to look at the items you're carrying. So this is our official first item in the whole game. Holy crud. Oh my gosh. This is intense. Bro. Oh man, so apparently we hold our sword and we swing it. Wow, that is crazy, you guys. You have no idea. This fall is exactly what you do. Look at it. I'm going to do a circle. Small circle, big circle, big circle, and then straight up down slice. It's like, this literally is one-to-one -one movement. Okay, so then, let's see here. That's just your thrust by pressing it forward. Yep. Can we chop it once it's on the ground? No, okay. Oh, yeah. Examine it. That log is set up for practicing your diagonal slash. Swing the mirror with diagonal and cut right along the ash in the log. So if you do right at that angle, which sits center, lock on, and then just go slice. Yep, right at that angle. 
What, is, what happens to the rest of these lives? Yeah. Anyway, let's go to this one. Wait, examine? Is there can we examine? Oh, I guess we just go along the gap. So, slice. You guys have no idea. This is perfect movement. Just as advertised. Examine. That log there is for practicing defense. You don't, you don't have a shield yet, so don't mess with it, or it'll send you flying. Oh, I want to I want to try it anyway. Okay. No, I want to I want to die. Ow! Yeah, that did hurt. Anyway, <laughs> had to try that. Examine. That's a log for practicing your vertical slash, holding your remote straight up. And then swing it straight to make a clean cut. Yeah! You guys have no idea, this is perfect. If you don't- okay, so I'm guessing this is horizontal. If I do even slightly not horizontal, it won't do it. See? Gotta be horizontal. That's right, Link. <laughs> you really are a strong swordsman. You see the teach too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Okay, yeah. Go in the circle. Great, now I'm going to surround you with logs. You need to cut them all without moving from that spot. All you have to do is swing the Yerma and Nunchuck horizontally at the same time. Give it a shot. Oh yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Swing! Oh yeah. So you just swing. I just swung to the left there. I'm guessing you can do it to the right too. That sure looked like it felt good. So why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Sure, come on. Yes. Wait, what happened? Oh, there we go. Alright, sure. Alright, when your enemy is down, target with Z and swing the mirror remote and nunchuck at the same time to land a final blow. Do a slide slash on that log. When it's down, try using finishing it off with this technique. Okay, so if we target, slash. Oh, snap, bro! You just got owned. Fatal blow is also effective move to use right after you use your shield or a well practiced spin attack to knock this enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to swing the rear mount and nunchuck quickly before they get back on their feet. I've also heard if you hold it up in the air for a while, it, maybe you haven't learned it yet, but never mind. Anyway, we got a sword. We robbed him of the sword. Hey, Link. You can't take swords outside the sparing hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? Dang it. What? The loft wing is missing? You have to go look for it. Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember, that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only night scares you, so I don't want you swinging around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first, and once you get outside of that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to, got it? Sure, I'll chop everyone to pieces. I'm just going to slice all these one more time to make sure I have it. Um, you do honestly have to do a side slash and stuff. Um, yeah. I, yeah, see, I wasn't even swinging it right, right there, and so I didn't, um, hit it in the right way. But yeah, it's pretty epic. Just go right it the way it says, and that's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. He's, okay, I, I get it, I get it. Not yet, I've already, I already know how to do it. I can still do it, right? Yep, alright. Oh yeah, that really depletes your energy though, so. Alright, now that we got all that stuff, let's go meet where the waterfall is. So that's where we gotta go. So we're already getting items pretty fast and... What the heck? That's not weird at all! What the flag is that? Hey friend, walk yourself over here and say hello. Okay. How do you do? I'm what you call a Sheikah Stone. Glad to meet you. I'm going to stone a few words, so I'll get right to it. If you're going to find yourself in a puzzling circumstance as you make your way through this world, you should try and find yourself stuck and you have no idea how to move forward. Come see me. I got nothing for you right now, but down the road when you're feeling stuck, the things I show you may just get you back on the right track. Good luck out there, friend. Well, that's nice. Wow, just after you told us not to hit things, I just go around and hit somebody. Um, how do I put it away? Uh, I guess you. I don't know how to do it, but I guess pressing C works. So that's probably how I'll be doing it most of the time. Just go tap tap so that I can figure it out. Um, let's see. Let's go up here. I keep thinking C is dash because it always has been for so long in um, games like 
Well, first of all, in Black Ops, that was dash for me. Alright, let's go down by the waterfall. I'm um, not sure where that is. I see the water here, but I don't know where the waterfall itself is. Let's check out our map. So, I'm facing this way. Yeah, I guess we just go straight where I'm in. He's over here. Yep, and there's the waterfall. So, let's go over here and get to the waterfall. I guess we probably should have gone around that. Yeah, let's just go this way. Why would they have stairs going down into there? Do people just walk in? I mean, I'm sure people swim, but really? Who would just walk in? Alright, there we go. Now it's replenish our energy as we slice a bush. Oh man, that'd be cool if you can cut down a tree. See, so double tap C and it goes away. Ooh, let's cut down people's trees. Yeah! That gives you a perfect example of how where it's at. You can just slice it. Sorry, that's fine. You guys have no idea. Ha. Look at this thing. Look at how long the statue's been here. It only has one eye. Poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press C to look around. Yeah, I know that. Wow, what an idiot. That one, the thing that you look around is a rupee, it looks like. Oh, wait, never mind. Maybe it's not. Um... So, if our loft wing is hidden around here, where would- oh, look at there's some stuff up there, that's probably where it is, I bet it that it's in that little cave. I can almost guarantee that's where it is, yep. Huh? So, let's see what it says. Waterfall cave, beware of blood-sucking monsters, no kids allowed. Yeah, that's disturbing, I don't care, I'm cutting all this stuff down. Screw those guys, and I'm cutting all your stuff down. Get out of the way, you mother punkers. So it looks like hopefully we'll be under our first battles of the game. Waterfall. So this is, I'm guessing, supposed to be pretty creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Combat's pretty simple. Um, and we still drop money. We got a green rupee. It's worth just one rupee, so collect lots of them. Um, where's that rupee? Alright, there it is. A lot of times, uh, if you didn't know, monsters will drop either rupees or hearts. Um, yeah. So, this is so easy, guys. Um, obviously, this is just the first one, so it's not going to ever be hard. I don't think it's going to be like a dungeon or anything, but it looks like slicing your sword doesn't um, kill, like your, not kill, but it doesn't just hurt your energy in general. But it does, uh, what's it called? It's not your energy in general, but it does make it so that um, you're like not able to run for a little bit, pretty much. Let's see that. Oh, I guess we gotta sprint up here? Yeah. Alright. Nice for you, okay. Wow, that took away an entire heart. This is kinda crazy. Oh, yeah, let's get a rookie, buddy. Yeah, well, it's pretty easy to break free if you have to. You got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wad of junk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Nice, we got a jelly blob. I'm sure that's helpful, but I don't know what for at the moment, so I don't really care. Let's get some more. Oh, wait, that's a jelly blob too, didn't it? I can't see very well because they blend in so well. Money disappears after time if you didn't already know that. You know, I'm just gonna say screw most of these monsters. You don't have to fight most of them. Uh, a lot of times in Zelda games, it'll make it so that if you fight all the monsters, it'll clear a room. But a lot of times, see, a uh, monster dropped a heart. But a lot of times, you don't even have to fight them all. In case you're unfamiliar with how Zelda games work. Um, I want to see how this is dangerous to kids. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm rich! I'm rich! Oh my gosh! I just got 40 bucks in a random tube, and who puts random rupees in there? And into the light. Looks like I think we're probably gonna find our loft wing. Come on, come on, come on, please! Okay, we're outside. Heart flowers, that's not weird at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna have to either examine or look. We're in such a, yep, let's see. Always save, I'm gonna do when I find one of these. I just talk like Yoda. Alright, so I'm guessing let's look around. Um, that's real helpful. 
Let's try going around over here. Huh. This is weird. Strange this is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now that I'm Link. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice there's a pack down there. Link, hey Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign here left wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead on that Groose and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who, who's that? He's calling for me. Oh, sorry Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Yeah, well, I guess we gotta go down here. Center of the camera. I'm really bad about remembering the center of the camera, so... You guys, I'm sorry about that. Um... Look, there he is. No doubt about it, that's your lock doing it. That's horrible! First, let's get the money in the barrels. Then let's take our anger out on this wall. Well, let's just cut the ropes. So yeah, as you can see, the ropes, like, you have to do a horizontal slice. You can't just do it any way you want. See how up there it's diagonal? You do a diagonal slice. Then, they break, you do a horizontal slice, and they come back. And your loft wing is finally free. Poor loft wing, that's horrible. He can stretch his wings at last. Reunited body and soul. Why are you going away? Come back, Mr. Laughlin. We should hurry, Lee. Now that your laughter is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard of this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's a strange feeling, almost like someone's calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Say it's that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing out at all, but I have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about the place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skylock. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and their locked wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. Oh, sorry, Link. You don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look at your birds waiting for it. Leave off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Alright, so I'll press down. Call a bird. Then I'll go where we're about to die. Or our friend catches us. Alright, guys. Anyway, um, that is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time on the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. See you next time, and peace.